Markets to Watch, sponsored by PageTrader.com, starts now. Welcome back to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining us. All right, we've got David Williams, PageTrader.com. All right, David, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? I'm good, Michael. How are you doing? Good, good. All right, good. Wh where, where are we going today? What's going on? Well, um, first of all, thanks for having me on the program. Um, as you know, Michael, we specialize in highly specific forecasts for various markets. And uh, uh, yesterday, we have been calling for, over the last two days, we've been calling for the S&P to decline uh, down to $2,566 to 2565 Today, we got that decline. Uh, today's low in the S&P is 2563.25. Your listeners are welcome to come take a free trial and check out all of our forecasts are time-stamped and recorded in real time so they can check out what we said and when we said it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Are you so looking... we had a nice nice move in the S&P today. Are you looking for a low uh, to be set in here today with, with what? Yeah. The, the forecast for the bottom is actually for November 10th tomorrow, but it's accurate or accuracy is plus or minus one day. Mm -hmm. So today is one day early, and it may very well be likely that that low is in and came in one day early. So yes, we are expecting a low between on November 10th, plus or minus a day, and it appears to have come in on the minus day, you know, the one day early. Right. It looks like that. So you'll need to get a close today to find out uh, what your next target is for the next move, or do you need to sit through tomorrow? Well, we when we come in tomorrow, we do have some things that we've given out uh, for early tomorrow, but for purposes of actually trading it, because we actually support the forecast with a live trading room, uh, we'll do that in the morning. And again, anyone can come in and take a free trial to check out what we're doing and see, seeing if it's useful for them in their trading. I can't see why accuracy wouldn't be. I can't see either, but uh, people, you know, and thank you for saying so, but people do have various ways of looking and thinking about markets. Uh, we're, as you know, Michael, we're in our 18th year now, uh, page trader, uh, forecasting these markets. Uh, we got here by being accurate and being more accurate than the next guy. So um, we, we can't promise the future, but we can surely forecast it with a very high degree of accuracy. What other markets are you looking at? Well, uh, we're certainly interested in uh, the soybeans, which today also completed an important uh, downside move that we had forecast yesterday. This may lead to yet another trade. We do trade in about 12 different markets so that we're never forced to try to dig something out of a market that might not really be there. Uh, traders and investors sometimes can kind of see a mirage because they don't have anywhere else to put their money, maybe. And so we solve that problem uh, by simply tracking a large number of markets so that if one market is really not showing us what we'd like to see, we're not tempted to see something that isn't there, to see the mirage, and we move over to a market where it really is easy and obvious to see something. Um, one of the other uh, markets we're following, and I know you do too, Michael, uh, in your own trading and so on, uh, is the crude oil market. And uh, we're very interested uh, in this market. We, uh, Generally speaking, if we have continued daily closes in the December crude oil above $56.60, as long as we see that, uh, we think we're going to go up and retest the recent highs that were made um, into November 13th, plus or minus a day. So Tuesday, or excuse me, Monday coming up, we have a weekend coming up, but Monday is the 13th. So we may turn that information into a trade. Again, that as long as the uh, December futures contract closes daily above 56.60, we'd be looking for crude oil to uh, advance back up to test 57.70 to 57.80. And that's tradable. You know, we could do something with that. And our, our traders and uh, clients will do that. Right. I'm looking at it right now. And is it the December crude that you're talking about? or it's an... Yeah. Okay. We're in December crude. Right. Um, we're, we will be rolling pretty soon. But the beauty of what uh, the markets provide for everybody are opportunities uh, that can sometimes 
have a very high degree of probability to them. And our work uh, at PageTrader is to locate the authentically high probability move, deliver it to our clients, and help them actually trade it. Do you have any? With that, let me jump ahead. in there. Do you have any opinions on uh, dollar uh, bonds or notes? You know, interest rates yeah. in the U.S. dollar. Do you have any opinions? Yeah, we we're very bullish on the bond market into January plus or minus a month. Okay. Uh, if you take a look at the bonds right now, you'll see that uh, you know we're trading at around one, just uh, just about one fifty four. Uh, today actually completed a forecast we gave yesterday, the pullback today. But um, without giving all of the conditions out, generally speaking, with a good monthly close in November, we believe that in January the bonds will be trading at 158. So that's four full handles higher, $4,000 per contract higher than we are today. Now, we don't happen to be long in bonds yet for that move, but we are going to give out that trade to traders and investors who want to participate in that move into January plus or minus a month. So, so we're excited about the bonds. So that reduces the possibility. I mean, because I know how accurate your forecasts are. But that re- Thank you. And obviously, anything can happen between now and January, but that reduces the possibility of a further rake height uh, uh, next month. It probably month. does. Yeah. It probably does. I, I would say this, that as long as we continue to close monthly, above $151, which is way below us yeah. right now, in the bond market, you're going to see an advance where the market goes back up and tests 158 into January. And it's beautiful because that's a very uh, tradable move for anybody who's willing to be in the market for a little bit longer than just a few ticks, you know. Absolutely. Now, the gold market has been going to kind of sideways, you know, Bouncing any, yeah. anywhere between uh, 1263 and maybe 1300 a little higher than that. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing uh, any kind of a, of, of a potential breakout, or is it going to kind of go quiet, you think? Well, I'll tell you. Just two days ago, we had a, three days ago, we had a forecast for gold to move up to, 12, for, uh, to, move up to 1285 to 1286, and we forecast the date to be 1109, which is today, but it actually completed yesterday. They got up to 1288. Um, we do have a top in gold that's due on November 9th, plus or minus a day. So while there may be some pullback from in gold short term here, we do believe that if the market handles that pullback well by continuing to close daily above $1,274, which is well below us, mm-hmm. if we continue to close above 1274 we believe that we'll see it's not huge, but we'll see a thirteen hundred around November fifteenth, which is Wednesday of next week. Okay. All right. Well that's tradable. I mean That's I'm, tradable. That's well, tradable. And this is the beauty of these markets is that we can put together very specific scenarios that are very conditional and help our traders walk right through that trade from the very start to the finish. And I think your uh, listeners will be amazed at how accurate it can be. The markets really are not random as the academics have said they are no I, of course you know anybody who's really gotten into this and, and done it in, at, as a science not just as a, a form of entertainment they, right. they, they pick up on that yes they well, certainly do they you certainly do. you had been talking to us and we've got a, a couple of minutes left before we go but you've been talking to us about the, the bitcoin um price forecasting yeah. and being able to come out uh, and trade that Can you open that up for me sure Well, we've been following Bitcoin for recently, just really in the last month or so, and we've noted that uh, Bitcoin moves beautifully in accordance to certain principles that we're looking for in the markets. And so while I don't have an immediate forecast uh, for Bitcoin today, I can tell you that we're very excited about this market. And although it isn't, we're not officially giving out forecasts for Bitcoin just yet, we're very close to doing that uh, because we found that it is very similar uh, in some ways to markets that we're very, very comfortable with already. Because as you know, Michael, each market really does have its own persona. It has its own personality and the way that it handles uh, the expression of energy, which is the expression, you know, movement of the market moving up and down. And Bitcoin seems to be very familiar to us and therefore, we're very close to being able to uh, officially give it out as a product 
um, your your listeners can come check us out and uh, take a full week free trial of Page Trader just by going to pagetrader.com. Sign up for a free trial. There's no credit card or any expense, and no one but nobody's going to bother you either. You, but you get everything that we put out, every trade in every market: copper, gold, the bonds, S and P, crude, and so on. And you'll very quickly be able to determine whether what we're doing is really useful to you in your investing and trading. And we think you'll find out that it is. We hope so. If not, fair enough. But we really believe we have something for just about everybody. Great. Thanks, David. Thank you for having me on, Michael. I'll see you soon. See you next week. You're welcome. You David Williams, PageTrader.com. You've been listening to CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining. We'll be back tomorrow with more great content just for you.